getting started with the Speedwino ECU project. The best place for instructions is on the Speedwino wiki page. So we'll press get started and here we'll go compiling and installing firmware. Basically I'll be running through these instructions. The first thing you have to do is download the Arduino IDE. So open this page and we get here to the software. Pick the file you need and download it from here. We go to our download and we'll run this. And this will install the Arduino IDE and the standard drivers for the genuine Arduinos. As we'll see later there is a difference with some clone megas. Going back to the compiling and installing. We now have to download the latest stable firmware and that will be this. We go to the download and then we extract. And in the extracted folder will be all the files that we need. We'll now plug in our Mega. Check our COM port. And this is Arduino Mega on the COM port 11. If you have the small square Atmel 16U2 serial to USB chip, the drivers are in the Arduino IDE and it'll be all fine the way it is. But if you have the long rectangular CH340 chip, you'll have to load the manufacturer's drivers first. If you plug a clone mega into Windows with the CH340 chip, it'll assign its own Windows drivers and they are known to be flaky and drop out all the time. So to load the official drivers, go back to the compiling and installing firmware page. Scroll down till you get to here and there is a link to a CH340 family driver group. Just download that and execute it. I've already done this so we, I won't do it again. I actually used this driver here because I did it a while ago. And it's the CH340X install Windows 3.4 driver. If the first one didn't work, this one works because I've tested it. The CH340 will have a different driver and this is what should be up there. Back to our 16U2 and we'll start the Arduino IDE. Okay, looking at our IDE, we have to find all our Arduino files. Now if you go back to our Speedwino bundle download, the folder that says Speedwino is all the files for the Arduino IDE. Most of the files are supplementary for the Arduino firmware and you have to look for the Speedwino INO file. So we'll open that. We come down to our extracted folder, the Speedwino one, and down to the Speedwino INO. All the code is now loaded in here. Now we have to set up our communications to our Mega. Genuine Mega 2560, correct. And port 11. We can verify. All clear, done compiling. Just press upload. I won't upload because I want to show you an error later on. After that, just close all the Arduino IDs down. If you have any problems, go back to the compiling and installing page and there's help guides for other things if you have problems. Going to the Speedwino wiki main page, there's also a quick link to the firmware here. Now we have to load the Tuner Studio software, so we go back to get, getting started connecting to Tuner Studio. First thing we have to do is download the Tuner Studio software and pick the Tuner Studio MS version for your operating system. 
These downloads will give you a free versions that are, are limited, which are missing auto-tune and some other niceties. I can't remember if these downloads have a limited free Megalog viewer already in them, but if it hasn't, you can download a free version here, which is limited to a very short length. So we download that. If you want to pay for all the features, just look around on this page, probably in the shop now or products. And if you're not in a hurry, they actually have specials now and then to save some money. As a dependency, this program needs Java, so you can download the Java here if you haven't got it already installed. So let's go to our download and just run our executable. Now that Tuna Studio is installed, we'll run it. And we'll create a new project. We'll call this one test. The directory is already assigned. And now we have to link our firmware. We have to do this the manual way by going to the browse method. And you'll have to go back to the Speedwino package download. In reference, There's a Speedwino I and I. Click on that. Open. Next. I don't use cubic furlongs per fortnight, so I'm always Celsius. Go next. A com is 11 from there. Next. Finish. Here our Speedwino is using firmware 2017-12 but Tuna Studio's project serial signature is the 2018. That tells me my Arduino IDE firmware install is an old version. So we'll work offline, close this down, open Arduino IDE, load our Speedwino sketch. Upload. Done uploading. Close that down. Back to Tuna Studio. Open last project. Test. It now clears. The firmware in the Mega now matches the firmware in Tuna Studio. On a side note, when you update your firmware, it's not supposed to change your tune, but on occasions it does. So you might find just one or two settings a little bit different. As an example, I haven't used this new firmware on this Mega, and it still has the old tune. So we'll go to Start Idle and Crank Settings. And if you look at Cranking RPM, you'll now see it's 40 RPM, even though the old tune was set at 300. And if you look down here, this Cranking Enrichment Curve table hasn't been filled in yet. This is a new feature that's been added with this firmware so there's no chance you would have filled this table out before. So you'll have to fill that in as well. Another error you can get is if your offline Tuna Studio tune is different from the Speedwino controller which is the Mega. If you want to update your tune on the Mega and send your offline values to the controller, select yes. If you want to keep the tune in your Speedwino just select no. And that's about it.